And for those who decide to bring IP to China, we cannot overemphasize the importance of finding strong legal counsel who is intimately familiar with Chinese law. Find advisors who know how to obtain the proper protection for your intellectual property and do so as soon as possible. You also need to think about the related areas of Chinese law, such as how to write an appropriate non-disclosure agreement. Expecting the Chinese system to work on American terms is a recipe for failure. So, and, and then let me say that some think that the best way to avoid being ripped off in China is to stay out of China. But besides missing a tremendous opportunity, companies that never soot, set foot in China are not immune from having their IP infringed upon in China and may later find infringing products making their way back to the United States or to third world markets. The good news is that Chinese leaders increasingly recognize that a strong IPR system is an important step in building the kind of creative economy that they want. And they're working to strengthen their IPR protection and enforcement mechanisms, although much, much more needs to be done. Mm -hmm.